What's up guys? Back at you again. And like I've always said, we're gonna come back at you with some crazy stuff. So, the subject of this matter is, we are gonna try to catch a shark on Gatorade bottle. Yep, I said it. A bottle and a Gatorade, that didn't sound good. How about a Gatorade bottle catching a shark? So, actually, we, we just got here tonight. I know a lot of my buddies out there are actually catching lots and lots of sharks. So I had to brainstorm an idea that we are gonna try to do it. And here is the subject of our saltwater mission, the Polaris ride. Nah, just kidding. We ain't going in my bass boat. <laughs> We're going in this ride right here. But we will not be using those rods to catch any of the sharks, but we're gonna be using Gatorade bottles. So here in just a moment, I'm gonna get hit the sack, go to sleep, go to bed. We're gonna be at you early in the morning. Stay tuned, cause it's gonna be wild and crazy. A few moments later. Here we are in the garage. It's 2 a.m. and I can't sleep. So who the hell carry him away? He stopped loving her today. Thought you were gonna hold it longer than that. Ooh, can't even see him one last time. Ooh, All I'm gonna wonder if she was. The moment has arrived. I really didn't sleep much last night because all I could think about was catching, you know, catching fish on a deck gum Gatorade bottle. Hopefully we're gonna catch some big sharks. So it's about six, I don't know, maybe 6.15 in the morning. Um, we're gonna go out here and see if we can't get on some shark we're gonna get a big chum line guys you're gonna you're gonna see here in a second of course sharks can smell blood 2.7 miles away I don't know what they can smell it but I know they can smell blood from a long ways away we got us a lot of chum and it's gonna be they are gonna at least smell something if there's a shark within distance of us Gatorade bottle is gonna get a workout guys we are now where I think we can catch some sharks so anytime you're dealing with just giant mass bodies of water you're always going to want to look for something different and as you can see here on let's see as you can see here on the GPS what we're going to do here is this it's pretty cool so as you can see this is a massive body of water but if you can see this outline right here, this is actually a shoal. So for example, this is coming up from 24 foot to 18 foot. We're gonna get in the center of this shoal and set up our chum line. So any fish that are actually swimming in this area, they're gonna use this as an ambush point. So hopefully we're gonna attract them to the boat and catch them on a Gatorade bottle. Yeah, yeah. All right, step two is the most, probably one of the most valuable things in salt water or shark fishing or anything is the chum bucket. So what I got here is just your typical bucket. Okay, as you can tell, we got lots of holes in it. This is actually where all the flavor is gonna, gonna go out at. Uh, we're gonna take it, if you can see, look down, we got a uh, big piece of lead strapped in so this will always stay on the bottom actually 
actually one of the cool things about having a little bit of chop you can put a chum bucket down but as you can see the boat is like actually going up and down so what actually that's going to do once it hits down and goes to the bottom it's the bucket actually is going to be lifting up and down up and down and that's just like shaking the bucket and really putting a lot of chum out there so we're going to drop this down put the lid on it and we're going to show you what i think and how i'm going to rig my gatorade bottle to accomplish this task hopefully there's going to be a lot of sharks so we're going to let this marinate a little bit we're going to get a chum slick going and by the time we get our gatorade bottle up and rigged hopefully the shark will be right here at the boat and it's going to be game on i'm excited so basically my brainstorming idea is just taking a gatorade bottle and actually this size this is a 28 ounce it actually has a concave look to it when i went into the store i was thinking hey this one looks really good like it'll hold a lot of line so you guys are coming along with me just as much as i'm experiencing this hopefully you'll experience it along with me because like i said i have no as you can tell i have no idea what i'm doing so i'm actually not going to put that tight because if i get one big enough i want that to be able to slip out in case he pulls me in i have no idea so all i know to do is wrap some line around it got me great flavor i, I i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that great flavor is the best one out there all right so line on reel aka bottle so basically i'm thinking in my head to just use a simple short leader carolina rig so i'm just gonna take a big swivel tie actually a palomar knot when you're dealing with 60 pound test you know knots aren't that important so we got us a palomar knot and i'm gonna take sharp hook i am a believer in sharp hooks so we're gonna get a again we got two all hooks aren't the same and that should be enough for a leader uh, i don't really think sharks are going to be line shy what i mean by line shy is just some fish can actually detect line feel line and they actually won't bite your lure because of what they feel but Think when you got a big thing of, of chum out there and they're smelling these fish are going to be hungry for one thing so i'm going to use just a simple egg sinker so we're going to take put the line through here and now simply attach the hook pretty basic guys nothing Nothing too out of the ordinary, just a simple, almost a Carolina rig. I want I want this to be free swinging. Uh, I want this to be freely when it's down there. I want my bait to kind of go around. When he takes it, he's going to be able to get it down inside of his mouth pretty deep before I set the hook. If this was a direct hook, if this was a direct sinker and hook, a lot of times they can't get it down deep and you'll miss a lot of fish. So short Carolina rig. We got a chum going. Now, the moment of truth will be revealed here soon. Alright, so now that we got a chum, we got a good chum slick going. It looks like it's back here probably 200 yards right now. Uh, really, pretty simple. We're going to take Manhaden. This is man called Manhaden. It's a real oily fish. Of course, these aren't good for eating for humans, but they got a lot of oils in them. They can be smooth. You can smell them from a long ways away. And see, look at that. If you look, a lot of oils, a lot of blood, a lot of fat. So basically just gonna, I don't know. What do you think? That looks good to me. All right. Now, I don't know if this is, this is a right-handed reel or a left-handed reel, but are fishing here's i don't even know how i'm gonna do this maybe when you are fishing it's very important to keep it right beside the bucket so 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm a little nervous right now because if he does bite it, I ain't gonna know what to do. So there's our first cast. We're down there right beside the bucket as we speak. And we sit here and wait. guys I know it's not a shark but the point is it's a game fish that has come on a Gatorade bottle we're still in search of the shark the good almighty shark whatever bites we're gonna catch see you buddy one thing that fish can say or he probably won't say technically the day he went down there and said hey Leroy what where'd you go for a little while you think he's actually gonna say hey man guess what I got caught by an alien up there with a Gatorade, but like this little bottle. He didn't even have a pole. Remember last year when I got caught by somebody with the long stick? This dude had a pole. He probably won't tell all his buddies that, but I know in the back of his mind, he knows he just got tricked by Dudley with a Gatorade bottle. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, dirty. I got him! I got him! I got him! Oh my gosh! I got one! I got one! Oh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! It might be a coop! Oh, he just broke me off! No! No! He just broke me off! Yep! Alright guys, first shark bite of the day just broke me off. Right there, teeth. Of course, they got big teeth. I should have had Dern uh, wire leader, but I ain't got none. All right, maybe that's a sign. We got one cobia, one break off on a shark. The bad thing about reeling them in, what I can tell, you can't actually tell when they're making a surge. Like with a rod, you got it, and it, it you know, the rod bends, it takes some of that quick surge. But with a bottle, I don't really know if he went, he made a quick surge or not, but hey, we gonna keep on trying. Oh! Alright, here we go, here we go! Oh! Alright, I think we got it! <laughs> we got something! Yep, we still got him. Oh gosh. Oh. Uh oh. I see color. I see color. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What he doesn't know is my boy. My boy just got fooled by a Gatorade bottle with line. Gatorade. Oh yeah. Nice.
What's something you need? What's something you need? Oh, oh, oh! Got him! Got him! Got him! <laughs> I can't reel fast enough. I need like an 8 to 1 gear ratio. He's still on it too. He's still on it. Here he comes. He's coming. Got color. Got color. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs a rod and reel when you got this rod and this reel? Who needs a rod and reel, baby? Woohoo! I just love the challenging part of this, baby. It's just. It's just a challenge. Sharks, sharks, cobia. Heck, we who knows what else we'll catch, but that right there gets me fired up. That's why I couldn't sleep. Got no one. Oh god, no! 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 Oh my gosh. I had it, I had it in my hand, and just, boom, whoo. Well, that one I reckon is gonna be drinking some Gatorade. Oh, that hurt, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, that hurt my chest, that hurt my lower part. Oh my gosh, no telling what that was. Could have been a Kobe, could have been a shark. You win some, you lose some. Oh, my neck. Ow, gosh. There, here we go. Here we go. Got him. Got him. I think. I can't tell. Oh, my gosh. Yep, still got him. Still got him. Down at the boat. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice color. Color! Color! Yeah, baby. Woo! Who needs a rod and reel? Who needs a rod and reel? Alright. Man, that's so awesome. You know, fishing, anything in life, whether you're hunting, fishing, it's always like taking it to the next level. You know, if you kill a buck, you want to get a bigger buck. If you catch a fish, you want to get a bigger fish. It's always about taking it to the next level. And Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. All right, we got a bite. We got a bite. Ooh! Missed him. Dadgum it. Again, guys, it's all it's it's about getting that next level. Hold on, hold on, guys. All right, he's actually swimming this way. Get ready. I'm gonna give a jump hook set. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, got him, got him. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's coming. He's coming. Oh no. All right, here he comes. Got color. Oh, yeah, baby. We got big color. Oh, good God. Good God. Oh, I'm about lost. <laughs> I lost. Gatorade bottle number two. Do I, do I need to keep talking about next level? Next level. I'm getting interrupted. They're starting to bite. I can't even put two Gatorade bottles out without even getting bit. So, again, guys, this is num shark number four, five. I'm not really sure what this is. It's taking it to the next level. Who knows what I'm going to think up next? I, I, I might end up saying, hey, could I catch a 
shark on a I don't know a boomerang or something crazy like that but guys I'm gonna end it right here I appreciate you guys following me I really do from the bottom of my heart I appreciate you guys following me subscribe and like you you guys know what comment below but guys stay tuned for more crazy action coming from me and as I like to do that's around.